Welcome to the first ever lane switching show. This is a, a new weekly podcast. Been wanting to start up for a minute. And, uh, you know, we're going to be discussing everything uh, just in the Ottawa space mainly. Of course, um, you know, sports, hip hop, all that stuff. And some news as well uh, with, you know, including a little bit of our personal stuff. You know, we're two people that, uh, you know, are involved in the industry and that type shit. And, um, you know, without further ado, uh, speaking about it. I'd like to introduce my co-host who will be with me for, uh, you know, the foreseeable future with this show. It's uh, my guy, Loki Guap, you know, you appreciate know. you. Loki Guap in the cut, you already know. I'm really honored to be on this podcast, you know, we're trying to grow it and like, I really see the vision, you know, so like you guys are going to see a lot of us um, in the future and we're just going to do our thing, you know. Yeah, most definitely. And in the future, we'd like to have guests on. So if you're interested in hop on the show. You know, just DM the page, let us know, and uh, we'll, we'll definitely try to line something up. But uh, just a quick introduction episode here. We want everyone, you know, just let let you know what we're about. And, uh, you know, without further ado, let's just uh, get it started, man. And just so how's your weekend been? Oh, you know, we just, you know, the Super Bowl is a big weekend. Super Bowl, Tony Ayo came to the city. There was a, a big performance hosted by Izzy Rose mm. and like... Um, it was a big weekend, you know, even though I didn't get to I didn't get to pop in too long. Like uh like it was it was I seen a lot of the videos and like uh especially with the Super Bowl for example, the Super Bowl was really big, big game, you know? Big, big game. Crazy you know? game. And like um like it was just we love to see it, but like you don't we don't like to see it end like that, but like uh yeah. it is what it is, you know? But it was a big weekend, like, for the city, just in the hip-hop scene and stuff like that. And, like, it's been, it's really good, you know? Yeah, Super Bowl, um, speaking about the Super Bowl, I mean, just going into it, who are you cheering for? And, like, the end result is 35-38, crazy game, yeah, Kansas crazy City game. pulls it off. But, to the wire, uh, to the wire, you know? Just, like, who, like, did you see that outcome, like, happening? I, I, uh, honestly... I was just scared of the Eagles defense, you know, mm -hmm. but I I honestly knew that like I, I didn't 100 percent know, but it was yeah. like 80 percent, you know, 80 percent. I thought that I, I knew the Chiefs were going to win, you know, and like it's just I feel like the Chiefs just have a better coaching staff, you know, and Patrick Mahomes is 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 the more experienced quarterback. You know, he's been there, you know, and like Jalen Hurts, obviously, like. He has balled out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He he balled out too. You know, it was yeah. just, it was literally a just, uh, bro. We're in the wild west. You know, it was pound, just a shootout. You know, pound fight. for pound. No, you and know? and you know, big kudos obviously to both quarterbacks. But like, I don't know how he did it, but how Mahomes pulled that game off was, you know, it was insane. Like you insane. tell, he was in pain the whole game, mm -hmm. and um, just uh, previously we were talking about it, but like it was really gonna come up to the health of Mahomes versus the like the just like the, the sheer skill of the eagles defense exactly and again i don't know how he did it but he powered through they were powered going at his ankle through. the whole game and he was limping the whole game but yeah shout out to patrick mahomes shout out patrick a, 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 mahomes. a real soldier out there like crazy and now that tom brady's out the league now it's like bro like he's number one he's number one and in my opinion like like didn't it was chiefs buccaneers and brady brady came out you know not too long ago but at the end of the day, I don't know. I think for the last like two, three seasons, it has been ever since they beat the 49ers, in my opinion, Mahomes has been Mahomes, the number one over Brady. You know? And he just keeps on proving himself, you know, like he just keeps on proving himself. And like, I just feel like he's young and he has a lot of juice in the tank. Yeah. And like, he's going to he's going to make some history for sure. You know? Yeah. No, definitely going to go down as one of the greatest quarterbacks Backstreet, of all time. Exactly. exactly. For sure. And uh, again, another thing you're speaking about uh, the concerts. Um we had the Tony Yayo show at the Brass Monkey, and then down at Il Vicolo um, was the uh, Izzy Rose, Izzy show, Rose show, show for her birthday and stuff. Yeah. Um, fortunately, I was with the uh, Rebels team and stuff, so it got to be a part of all that. And you know, crazy shows, just it, sh solid shows uh, around. Like we 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 didn't stay long at uh, Yayo's show, you know, because Rebel had to you know perform at both, right? But um, you know, great shows, and uh, it, it's definitely it's it's good to see the city, you know. A lot of times you'll really see maybe one or two shows a month, but having multiple shows in a night, it's uh, it's, it's progress. It's 
progress, you know, and like we're, knowing that we're from Ottawa, you know, and we're trying to grow this scene, we're trying to build it from scratch. And like the thing is, people have to see the vision, you know, because we are really the pioneers of this shit, you know, mm-hmm. like really like obviously there was people that came before us, but the way we're taking it is like we're taking it further than it's ever been, you know, and like yeah. we just have to keep on keep on keep on growing and just keep on doing what we're doing you know because we're growing the scene and it's happening you know it's for a matter real. of time for real and i was definitely happy uh, uh obviously didn't get to stick to the end of the show but i was on tiktok like about a, it was about a week before the show and supposedly like in i guess he had a saskatchewan thing out there and like it went bad like he like he ditched the meet and greet he cut his set short like all type shit and so i think again i, I didn't stick the the whole way through but i think at least in auto i think it went a little bit better exactly you know and that's someone who it's like again growing up i've been since i was maybe like 15 14 years old a big 50 cent fan exactly. so so a g unit member G-Unit. like unit literally that <laughs> that that one tape they have where it's like it's banks bucks uh yayo and 50 is like crazy exactly. music so it's like you know you know if yayo co-signs the city you know hopefully his experience out here was great but you know more more out of town people tapping in and exactly. and i think that's what we really need is more out of town people tapping in and then uh speaking about izzy's show uh, again it, that's awesome because i think uh it, it's just a, a purely local show and we definitely need those you know where it's just artists supporting artists or you know creators supporting creators i guess you could say um it's just shout out to see. izzy putting on a lot of these artists you know like local local artists for one and like artists that aren't as like big you know and mm-hmm. just giving them a chance to really show themselves shout out chris i seen him perform yeah 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 chris bro like he's a really he's, he's an up-and-coming artist and like he's a lot of potential he he's a young guy he has a lot of potential and like like just i lo- i i was really happy to see him perform you know because yeah, he's yeah, always yeah. supporting you know like he's like like everybody has their turn and like it's like i i, I love it when people like i love to see people shine you know and he got to shine you know so it was really lit yeah, shout out to, uh, I think, uh, Silent Night Records Collective. Or, it, it, I think that's what they're called. You know, Correct me if I'm wrong, but it, I think Mel's a part of that too, and Chris is a part of that. And that's a that's a good collective there where it's like, you know, they're they're fresh on the scene, like yeah. just, just lately tapping in with them. But, um, you know, it, nothing happens overnight. Even with, with my page, it's something that, you know, it comes in waves. Some, some months are good, some months are bad, but at the end of the day, if you stick consistent with it and you keep building it up, you know it's it's gonna pay off but it, it's, Rome wasn't it's built in a day exactly and if it comes quick there's no blessings in it you know mm-hmm. so that's what they say you know so literally and uh switching it now to sports um you know it, it's not a league that a lot of people tap in with but uh the cfl uh it's free agency right now and uh, the red blacks are getting suited up for another year um already making some moves they brought back um a guy who used to play for the Kansas City Chiefs, Brand Dandridge. Mm-hmm. They brought back Nick Arbuckle. I think they're sticking. I think the plan is to stick with Jeremiah Mazzoli. He's a quarterback who already had a lot of success in Hamilton. Um, so he got injured last year. It would really be nice to see more out of him this year. And um, when it comes down to it, definitely want to cover more of the Red Blacks because in the city, I think a team that's like wholeheartedly embraced win or loss is the Red Blacks. And I think the football community in Ottawa is very underrated. For real. Like, I really feel that just, I'm telling you, the CFL, like, has the athletes, like, the CFL and the NFL, people think there's a huge difference. But Mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like, you have to understand that these guys are putting in the hours. These guys are at peak athletic form, you know? And it's like, sometimes it's, it's not even that they're not even good enough to go to the NFL because they're good enough but it's just the opportunity you know and it's like sometimes like a lot of these guys start they start at the cfl and then they go to the nfl you know so it's like mm-hmm. um like with these guys like uh like the cfl bro it's, it's on the rise you know it's really on the rise and like love the red blacks you know and like just uh seeing the free agency and like the guys that they're come that are coming in we just need more because i believe the culture and in general is all sports, music, art, just art in general, you know? It's 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 all it's all a form of expression. So mm-hmm. it's like where all of us are expressing ourselves in our own individual way, you know, some in sports, some in music, some in like 
actual art you know so it's like like i feel that um it's really it's really good you know it's really yeah. good for the scene it's really yeah good for shout the, out my guy actually yeah. ymg tk he went all canadian this past season I with the GGs. I was just talking to him, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just and talking that's, to him, bro. That's crazy. Have him, he, he does music too. I was just going to have him in the studio this weekend, you know? Yeah, yeah, And yeah. like, like he's, he's, he's like work ethic, was school guy, does his, does his school work, fam, <laughs> does his thing on the field and he's in this booth too. Shout out TK, fam, you know? And like, uh, like literally... Like he's he's a humble cat too, you know. Yeah. He's a humble cat. He's a humble yeah. cat. Yeah, but th- that just I think the the correlation in the music scene and and, and the football scene just it, it it intersects so perfectly in Ottawa and uh, so many guys who like used to do the football thing exactly. now and it, whatever like goes for you where exactly. it's like tapping Bro, in with I remember football. I played with Kevin Big Tom Fab. His name is Kevin Big Tom Fab. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to give him the government. I don't know why I give <laughs> the government. But like everybody knows everybody we'll knows Kevin Big yeah, yeah. He plays football, you know? So like yeah. people know like Kevin Big Tom. But like I played Kevin I played I played uh football with him, you know? And yeah. like 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 I've seen his progression, you know, like from the times where people used to say Kevin Big Tom thinks he's this or that and like seeing him go to university and then going to university and then people saying yeah he's not gonna do anything then boom proving that and now we're gonna hopefully see him in the cfl you know yeah so it's like seeing the progression and i love to see it you know and like i have uh one of my one of my buddies from smu his name's adrian green you know mm. and he plays for bc all right and like i've seen him i've seen his his progression too you know and like he's like he literally came in like a scrawny guy, but his work ethic was crazy, you know? And like, you just see after five years, you literally develop develop into like a man, you know, a grown, like, you know, like a yeah. football player, peak athletic form, you know? And like, it's it's crazy. It's it's crazy. Like, like honestly, like it's, it's really, there's a price that you have to pay to get there, you know? And like, not everybody's willing to pay that price. And I wasn't willing to pay that price, you know? But like, mm-hmm. I love to see people grow and do their thing you know so yeah most definitely and you know if and i hopefully in the future it gets covered more but like university level sports especially the football scene in canada it's getting serious now and where a lot of those guys you know who knows will maybe even have american guys come to canada to try to you know mix it up and stuff but it's definitely on the rise and you know and talking about football in general in the city ottawa has some dogs yeah like i'm telling you like fam like the opportunities that these guys have and these guys so many guys are going d1 now my little yeah. brother who bear jungle fam yeah you know he went d1 wake forest you know and like when we were when when i was coming up playing football bro we would dream to go d1 you know and like we didn't have the opportunity to do it you know so it's like now that these guys shout out gridiron you know he they really yeah they really just like took him and transformed him obviously you have to put in the work but like great shout out gridiron you know like they really yeah. took him to the camps got him bro he was a four star you know four star four star all offensive tackle you know so it's like yeah shout out gridiron man you know we're gonna run up a bag hopefully he goes to the nfl you know <laughs> yeah, exactly and and for them it's, it's already proven they've yeah, already had guys they exactly. had i think eli onku exactly. luigi valain just to name a few exactly. like so it's like you know if you're serious about this football stuff and you're out in Ottawa, like, you know, Gridiron Academy, that's where it's at. Exactly. And understand that, yo, you, with this, with football, you're not only going to learn, like, these are life, like, you learn so much from the sport just in life in general, you know? And it's like, 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 the reason why I, I, I fuck with, uh, gridiron so much is that they really build men you know like my brother's at prep prep school right now and like Mm -hmm. they brought him to a really good prep school and like like they make sure their guys are on their school stuff you know like really know what it takes to get to the next level you know and like like for sure like young guys coming up i know a couple young guys coming up and like they're they want to go d1 and it's bro they're already they're going they're on the road to going to prep school and like Mm -hmm. a lot of guys in the city i'm telling you this city is gonna is a football town when i talk about yeah ovfl before opfl before like on ontario provincial football Mm -hmm. like literally we used to like all of all of these dogs that you see now kevin like even anisu latmore like like a lot of guys you know like like they 
they came up playing in this league and like they've excelled so much. Like you see them all over. Like some of them are about to grad. All of us are about to graduate now. You yeah, know? yeah, so yeah. It's, it's crazy, bro. No, it, it's great to see for the city. Uh, switching it back to music. It's uh, it's Wednesday, so Valentine's Day just passed. Valentine's we had some uh, we had some artists put out some some solid music. We had uh, shout out my guy TK Man, Gigi Chevy, Shamsy. Also, Victor, um, you know, my bad if I'm missing any names. Uh, uh, Kevy Z. Yeah, yeah, Shout yeah. Kevy Z and J-Pop, you already know. And just uh, just quick, uh, if you got a chance to listen to those songs, what, what were you thinking? How I listened to, uh, oh, we forgot about City Fidelia. Therapeutic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Visuals. Yo, the visuals yeah. was, bro. The visuals came out. For th- we'll start off with uh, City Fidelia. Like, bro, like, we'll see in the visuals and, like, I, I waited until I heard the song, but I haven't really, the visuals just made the song way, way better, you know, because mm-hmm. I didn't really, I listened to the song, but I didn't listen to the mm-hmm. song, you know, with visuals and like, just like, just him telling the story and how he's feeling and stuff like that. Like, yo, like it's, it was, it was a really good uh, visuals. He dropped it on Instagram. Go, go check that out. And also Kevy Z and J-Pop dropped, um, it was, was it No Trust or No Love? No trust. No, no trust. trust. Yeah. No yeah. trust. Exactly. And like, it's a it's a big tune, you know. Like, uh, always l- gotta watch out for Kevy Z and J Pop. You know, like guys coming up, like J Pop, for example. Like J Pop is this guy can control a audience, you know. Like, mm-hmm. especially at the Maryfield, like bro, like this, these you should have seen these guys, you know. It was crazy, and like, also, um, if you want to go with Sham Sham. Shamsy? Yeah, Shamsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like he was he bro, like I seen his the visuals for his one was crazy. Like mm-hmm. literally Shorty's dancing here, bro. <laughs> like I'm seeing this guy, like I'm thinking it's a movie fam, you know? Cause this guy's I'm thinking like this guy's uh, like playing a like a a, a bus boy or something like that. He is at the beginning, you know? Yeah. But like when I saw the trailer, it was like, yo, like this shit's official, you know, and like just the vibe, you know, the 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 what's it called? Just the vibe and like the the song was well put together and like even though he doesn't have the best vocals, you can see that he's he's using what he got, you know, and he's doing his thing, you know. Yeah. So it's like it's like it's really good. It's really good. Yeah, that whole um that whole team uh, I've been tapped in with uh, for a few months now, like very very early once i started this it was uh another guy who dropped a single sleepy 13 he dropped yeah. a single uh on valentine's day as well um it, but yeah that whole group of sleepy 13 shamsy tkm men like super underrated they're they're really they're really great artists you know and i've seen them numerous times live they got that locked down so you know just waiting on that next big banger whatever the case may be to pop off like they Thank got you. it but I gotta say, you know, shout out to TKM, man. You know, all all the songs were fire. You know, no diss to no one, but like, yeah, I think Yo, TK, bro. I don't. I think I think I heard. Doing, I think I may have heard that song. It could have been he did a quick like thing at the Cranium, um, like award show. I think he may have done that song, or it may have been another thing. But I'm pretty sure. Or maybe you played it to me. I'm pretty sure I heard that song before, but like I knew that shit was gonna be a heater. Mm-hmm. Like I knew, like it was like it's nice and. And it's like, like he, he's a guy who it's like, he's found his own sound that it's like, even if he's not versatile for right now, for 2023 or for present, it doesn't matter. Cause he's nice. He's like nice he's sick with it. And so it's just real like songwriter, like mm-hmm. literally a guy that can really write a song and has the vocal range. And like, bro, this guy's like talented as fuck, you know? Mm-hmm. And like TK is talent. Like he blows my mind, you know, like this guy, like, I don't know how he does it, you know, like he really, I, I really look up to the guy and like he's one of them, I can call him my friend like I'm happy to call him my friend and stuff mm-hmm. like that and like he's a really good guy you know humble guy you know and like for sure like yeah no and uh, you know it, it's good to see now it's like a lot of times you'll just have maybe like two three songs come out of the city but then you know when when motion picks up and everyone is more inclined to release it's it's awesome it's as you know somebody who covers this uh, you know. I need something to post about and exactly. if, I, if I if no one's dropping nothing if there's nothing in the sports and hip hop world going on then like there's nothing really much for me to do so it's it's always great to see um new stuff coming out another artist I've been uh like just watching the last couple of months and uh I just want to say like his EP like I don't know if it was his first ever project but his latest EP understood or 
Um, I could like correct me if I'm wrong, but this one track comfortable as a heater. And that's my guy, YG Rio. Um, I saw on his IG lately, he was at Atlantic records. So big move for him. Just quick shout out for him. Cause it's like an Ottawa rapper getting, you know, their foot through the door and, you know, big people like this. A lot of people might shun on, um, you know, the more mainstream record labels, mm -hmm. but shout out to him. Just getting the foot in the door, foot in the door, doing it out for the city. And like, at the end of the day, like you're doing shit that nobody's done before, you know? And like, you just got to give yourself the pat on the back for that, you know? And yeah. like, you're opening doors for other people in the city. Cause it's like, yo, people are going to be like, I'm telling you, people don't know Ottawa's the capital city of Canada. No, you know? bro. Everyone thinks it's Toronto. Everybody thinks it's Toronto, bro. We have to put <laughs> on, we have to put on for our city, you know? And like, yo, know, just big ups, big ups, you know? Yeah. Keep it real. Don't make it bougie. But at the end of the day, we, we have a story to tell and there's artists out here who are doing it. Um, another, another thing that, uh, just more mainstream I wanted to highlight was, um, the NBA all-star game. And I, again, I don't know the, obviously the history of the halftime show, but there are no traditional rappers on this year's halftime show. And for me, the takeover. That's, that that's very interesting because it just seems like the NBA would be the number one pro what? league to support exactly. something like that. But instead we have two Afro pop guys on there. The takeover, the takeover of Afro beats fam, you know? And like, it's really, it's been a long time coming and like, honestly me being African and stuff like that, I'm really proud, but also me being a rapper, I'm kind of sad, <laughs> you know? <laughs> But at the same time, like, we just got to, we just got a sudden change, you know? Mm -hmm. And, like, at the end of the day, it's, like, like, we're realized, I feel like people are, people want to feel good. People want to have fun. Yeah. People don't want to hear just always just, yo, I'm going to kill somebody. I'm going to rob this. I'm going to sell this. I'm going to do this, you know? And, like, it's really, I really feel that music is really getting um, redundant. It's getting redundant and it's getting, like, it's getting, like, like it's oversaturated oversaturated you know and like like i feel like the meaningful shit is the one that stays you know the yeah. meaningful shit and like even being a being a musician you know it's like now i'm finding that the music that really hits the music that really like like that in my opinion the the music that that is timeless is the pain music you know the music that like the songs that i make for example like like poetic pain for example you know like these are the songs that like really stay and they stay consistently streaming you know and mm -hmm. like i just feel like people like meaningful shit you know and like if you're not if it's not meaningful it, it has to make them vibe high you know it has to make them like feel good you know yeah and that's what afro beats does you know yeah, and I think um, for me, hip hop has always been a reflection of reality. And I think right now, the reason why maybe hip hop, some may say it's dying or it's just stagnant, is really because it's like if you look at like, you know, whether you want to blame it on the recession or just like political unrest, the world's at kind of a weird place right yeah. now. And so I feel like hip hop right now and why it either may be too like not mainstream but too like uh, industry plant like this like no offense to ice spice just kind of gives me industry plant vibes and then you also have guys where it's like i like their music personally i'm not going to listen to it all day but you got like d thang didi osama like like uh use g's like all these bronx drillers that it's like yeah the youth is liking it young boy but it's like it's just it gets kind of redundant the drill if you, if you really listen like, to how much they're out like it's like these guys aren't even thinking when they're rapping, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. it's like, I feel like the music is becoming very, very like generic, you know, and it's becoming like, like it's becoming the same, you know? And like, that's why, that's why even as an artist, you know, it's like you have to, as me, I had to find my sound, you know, I found myself like, because at the end of the day, there's so many blueprints out here, you know, but at the same time you have to do the work to find your sound you yeah. know and like i feel like yo like you can't like even though you can there's blueprints but you have to you can never sound like somebody else exactly. but if you're trying your hardest to sound like somebody else it's like 
it's not it's it loses it loses that, that and that's amount. and that's even what i find right now is the issue is that like people are following too much the blueprint exactly. where it's like they're trying way too hard to get signed by 1017 yeah. or they're trying way too hard to be otf or yeah. they're trying way too be hard to be this or that and it's like the real way you're gonna have longevity you're gonna stick is if you actually create your own lane if you actually create a new sound like you know you don't have to and that's that's the thing is that i find like now it's like people it's like oh to be original i just have to fucking jack my like whatever bpm all the way up have the fastest paced song ever or like super over electronic song and then it's gonna pop it's like nobody needs to sound like cardi not everyone needs to sound like yeet mm -hmm. like to be honest like those sounds just not really for me there's nothing against that obviously but it's just like there are different ways to approach the hip-hop game and I feel like everyone's just approaching it how the last generation did. Yeah. And that we haven't seen, like, people might shit on the SoundCloud era, but really that was, in my opinion, one of the greatest eras of all time because there was such a buzz and such, a, like, a, a, like, a burst of creativity. For real. Like, that, that XXL. New sounds were being made, like, like, a guy like Uzi, you know? Mm-hmm. Has the game in a chokehold right now. Like, was like, it 2016 or 2017, that Cypher with, like, it was, like, Kodak? Uzi, Yachty, bro, crazy. And I'm crazy. saying like, like that's when, like I was in high school, that's when it was buzzing. buzzing. Like it was like, I don't know, like you were just being a hater if you weren't tapped into hip hop bro, because there was bro. too many, Yo, bro. That summer, bro. <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. You know, like that summer, just music, just like, it was just vibes, you know? Yeah. But, yo. And I obviously like I'm not someone who's trying to like be stuck in their generation and saying like, oh, you know, my generation had the best music. It just feels like in 2023, you know, we're only a month and a half in, but it just doesn't feel like like the real last project that's really felt like this is not new, but this is like like game changing music was probably a tie between um, Future's album and Dirk's album. Like those albums top to bottom are fire super fun and i just i hope that more rappers are gonna get to that level and speaking about ottawa in that term i think right now ottawa is the perfect time to get their foot in the door just because of how stagnant hip-hop is yeah and if we can have our sound out there on a more national scale i think people will recognize that exactly first episode in the bag like just want to shout out anyone like talk to the people about what we got coming up in the future just uh what can they expect uh one person i want to shout out uh definitely he's he does a, another lane but it's definitely nene and he's he's uh the ceo of hearts are fallen and like he's yeah, doing yeah, his yeah. thing you know like he's really just pushing it like he's really just just he's oh this guy's only 21 you know and like bro mm -hmm. like he's really just on some real boss shit you know and like I just wanted to just give him a shout out real quick, you know, because like his hearts are falling. He's doing it like every they shut down Rito fam yeah. getting, doing a giveaway and like every drop is sold out, you know, and like, well, he's a young CEO, you know, so yeah, yeah, for sure. And that's something that as well. It's like if you haven't tapped in the the fashion scene out in Ottawa here is yeah, is fire too. like Dolos you Dolos know? too. shout out Mizey, yeah. shout out Mizey, shout out what's it called? Shout out Ice. Shout out, shout out Trench Hero fam. You already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, G Faisal, you know, always showing support, you know? And like, yo, we're, we're doing it. It's the culture, you know? We're really, we're really expanding in all aspects and all facets of, of uh, art, you know? So I really love to see it, you know? Yeah. And just uh, wrapping this up, you know, again, you know, appreciate everyone supporting the page. Appreciate everyone, uh, you know, supporting your stuff and, Mine as well. Uh, in the future, you know, we want to have people on this show and uh, we want to show it as a, a showcase for Ottawa and, right. and just and have a show where, you know, anyone feels comfortable walking through the door and have a discussion, you know. Um, and, yo, it's all good vibes, all all love, bro. And, like, we don't, there's no, there's no politics on this, on this platform, you know. We, we keep it, we keep it humble. We keep it cordial. We don't have to be best friends, you know, but we're trying to make money, you know. So, like. I just want I just want people to know that there's no there's no politics on this on this show and like we're just we're showcasing all people from all so sides of the all sides of the city south south east west you know yeah. and we're we're doing our thing you know 
Yeah, most definitely. So again, you know, stay tuned. We're going to make this a weekly thing. I think every Tuesday around noon, tune in. Should have another episode out for y'all. That was the Lane Switching Show. Appreciate everyone watching. I'm DF2. I'm Low Key Guap. That's my guy, Low Key Guap. And you already know how we coming. Peace, y'all. Peace, y'all.